हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आय एम डॉक्टर आशा पाटील फ्रॉम एस एन डी टी विमेन्स युनिवर्सिटी मुंबई टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू सी अबाउट लिटरसी थ्रू टेलिव्हिजन विथ स्पेशल रेफरन्स टू इंडिया इट वॉज इन द इयर नाईन्टीन फिफ्टी नाईन दॅट टेलिव्हिजन वॉज इंट्रोड्युस्ड इन इंडिया बट इट वॉज रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू द एरिया ऑफ दिल्ली अँड अराउंड फॉर अ क्वाईट अ लॉंग पिरियड इट टूक थर्टीन इयर्स फॉर द टेलिव्हिजन टू कम टू द फायनान्शियल कॅपिटल ऑफ द कंट्री दॅट इज मुंबई दॅट डे वॉज सेकंड ऑक्टोबर नाईन्टीन सेवन्टी टू वेन थ्री हंड्रेड मीटर हाय टेलिव्हिजन टॉवर्स स्टार्टेड बीमिंग इन मुंबई दिस पॉवरफुल वेपन ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन वॉज रिअली अ बून फॉर द लिटरसी इनिशिएटिव्ह बीइंग अटेम्प्टेड इन डिफरंट फॉर्म्स इन डिफरंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री सो ॲज टू ॲक्सेलरेट द लिटरसी पर्स्यू इट वॉज देअर फॉर नो वंडर दॅट the thought of using television for strengthening literacy efforts was dawned upon some like minded people this is how the thought of literacy through television was germinated in this module we are discussing on how television was used for the purpose of teaching adults in maharashtra especially in mumbai let's see the learning objectives understand how the novel medium of television was deployed for the program like literacy learning study how the team was built up so as to take care of different aspects of the project compare the lively audio visual presentation with the static presentation of print media and understand series of difficulties in organizing the first innovation in a new field and the steps taken to overcome the same let's see how the program started it was a joint venture the project of literacy through television was a joint venture of three bodies namely Bombay Bombay Television Television for the 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 production and telecast of the programs, Bombay City Social Education Committee for taking care of literacy component of the project, and St. Xavier's Institute of Communication Arts for technical support such as organizing seminars and training for the writers and organizers. The Bombay City Social Education Committee and St. Xavier's Institute of Communication Arts together prepared two pilot TV lessons as the Xavier's Institute had necessary equipment for shooting and recording an audiovisual program. The said lessons were shown to the deputy director of the Bombay Television who appreciated it highly and showed his willingness to make Bombay TV as a part of the project this was followed by a 3 day workshop headed by the education minister and with dr chitra naik as a special participant the workshop discussed the format of tv lessons so also the literacy primer on which the tv lessons would be based looking at the time constraint it was decided that the literacy primer entitled praveshika which was being used by bombay city social education committee for quite a few years would be used for this project also however some lessons will be rewritten while some new lessons would be added this was followed by conducting a writers workshop a writers workshop was organized wherein renowned marathi writers were involved they were oriented about the project and were requested to write scripts for the same they were thrilled to be a part of this first of its kind project but their enthusiasm did not last beyond one or two scripts then the main task came that is what should be the title of the project this project being the first 
project of literacy through television in Asia, it was most coveted venture for everyone associated with it. Hence, deciding its title also gained utmost importance. Mr. Dilip Chitre, a poet of word reputation, suggested I see Akshare Mirvin as the title of the project and it was approved by all. Let us see the details about duration, periodicity and other logistics. Various aspects of the project were discussed and finalized which included duration. The duration was decided for 4 months starting from September 1974 to December 1974. The date of commencement was 8th of September, which all of us we know that 8th September is the International Literacy Day. It was also decided that there will be two TV lessons per week, each TV lesson of 20 minutes duration and the total number of TV lessons were 34. Strategies for presentation of TV lessons. The TV lesson was to be based on the content of the lesson from the literacy primer known as Praveshika. The TV lesson had a dual objective namely creating awareness and imparting literacy. First 8 to 10 minutes were to be devoted to the creation of awareness through a dramatic presentation while the further 8 to 10 minutes were to be devoted to imparting literacy through a presenter. For the purpose of literacy teaching, analytical method which is also known as word method was used. The presenter was expected to choose a word or two from the earlier dramatic presentation of the lesson and focus on them for teaching literacy. The presenter wrote the word on the blackboard and then the word was split into alphabets. The said alphabets were vividly brought to the notice of the adult learners. The growth of the alphabet if any in the word was explained by the presenter. In this way alphabets derived from the word and their growth newly learned by the learners. The beauty of this analytical method is that even with the introduction of one or two words together with one or two grows, a number of new words can be prepared. For example, from two words like curl and mer, three alphabets can be generated namely k, m and r and these three alphabets can be learned. Similarly, with one growth of a, three more forms of words can be created namely ka, ma, la. With the help of this treasure, a number of new words could be formed by joining the alphabets in different ways. For example, kaka, mama, kaal, mala, maal, kaam, maka, etc. This exercise of formation of new words gave boost to the learners having learned so many words in a day. So this method became very interesting to the learners. Let us see more details about the location. Since it was a beginning period of television era in Mumbai, the number of institutions or persons having a TV set was considerably limited. Hence, it was quite difficult to hunt location with a TV set for conducting the literacy center. Dr. Madhuri Ben Shah, the then education officer of Bombay Municipal Corporation came forward and made a number of municipal schools having TV sets available for the project. Some enthusiastic persons from the labor area who had their personal TV sets made their set and the room available twice a week for the learner. This was followed by conducting a workshop of for the writers how to write script for the lessons and the training of teachers. 
script writing of the TV lessons by the writers and the training of teachers deployed for conducting the literacy centers were executed simultaneously. This was followed by the selection of artists for the dramatic presentation of the TV lessons and their rehearsals. Actual conducting a literacy class that was another important issue. It was contemplated that the adult learners will view the TV lessons for 20 minutes and then the teacher would initiate a discussion on the awareness topics depicted in the TV lesson. The remaining days of the week, the literacy centers were conducted on their usual locations, namely classrooms of a primary or secondary school or a room in a chawl. Various other important persons were also associated with this project. I see Akshare Mirvin being a project of multi-pronged teamwork. The mention of the main persons associated must be made. The first and foremost of course was Mr. G. K. Gaukar, Social Education Officer of the Bombay City Social Education Committee. He was the main enthusiastic and energetic driving force behind the project. Next was Mr. Gaukar's assistant, Social Education Officer, Mr. M. A. Gode, who shouldered the responsibility as a coordinator for taking care of the literacy component to be presented in the TV lessons. From the side of Mumbai Television, Mr. Kesho Kelkar and Mr. A. B. Deshpande, who popularly known as Akashanand, were the producers steering the production and telecast of the television lessons. Mr. Gary Rosirio took the responsibility of training programs for writers as well as literacy teachers on behalf of St. Javier's Institute of Communication Arts. Mr. Pradeep Bide ably carried out the job of a presenter. There were various difficulties and problems while implementing this program. As the project provided a novel audio-visual dimension to the literacy learning, the response was obviously very encouraging. However, there were quite a few difficulties and problems faced, which included, first is the timing of the TV telecast being the fixed one. It became difficult for a number of learners to keep punctual attendance. Sometimes the TV sets were out of order and the same were not repaired promptly. Sometimes the key of the room were not available for some reasons or the other and the learners couldn't view the program telecasted. Quite a few literacy teachers were not able to take follow up lessons in the class very next day properly. The observations are the projects was conducted as early as in 1974 that is when the television was just two years old in Mumbai. Hence the response to the project as unique one was full of enthusiasm. It was difficult to procure sufficient number of classes with TV sets. The period of four months was quite insufficient for the project. Training of literacy teachers was not effective and sufficient. The honorarium paid to the teachers was meager. Sometimes the, the electricity was out and the TV was useless. All these hazards affected the enthusiasm of the learners. This project was evaluated. An evaluation study of the project was made by St. Javier's Institute of Communication Arts. Ms. Shanta Gidwani visited the classes at regular intervals and talked to the learners and the teachers. The study underlined various important points. It is seen that 
the use of the medium like television is not only possible but also essential so as to make literacy learning more effective and interesting. While introducing literacy component, the television was used as a blackboard. This was an underuse of a powerful medium like television. Instead, the television should be used for the development of learners as an individual as well as a citizen. In short, the medium like television should not be used for teaching, reading and writing but for a broader perspective of life. In view of this broader perspective, it was recommended that a second television project may be considered for empowerment and for all round development of learner. Mr. Usher Dellan's visit is very important in this project. By the end of the year 1974, Mr. Usher Delon, the education advisor of UNESCO, visited Indian Adult Education Association, New Delhi, in connection with the new non-formal education program. Mr. Delon visited Mumbai as he was interested in a special non-formal education program for workers. He was on the mission of enhancing the said program by adding a number of inputs including a new vision. He therefore visited Bombay City Social Education Committee's Shramik Vidyapit very frequently. Mr. Delon was also imposed by the information about the project of literacy through television conducted by Bombay City Social Education Committee. He carefully discussed various aspects of the project with different personnel associated with the project. After a series of meetings and discussion sessions, Mr. Ashar Delon suggested Mr. Gaukar to take up a second television project for strengthening the new non-formal adult education program. He also suggested to ask for separate financial assistance for the project from Central Government of India. Accordingly, the funds were obtained from the Central Government. The Bombay City Social Education Committee prepared itself for the launch of second television project of adult education. This was a long jump in the area of literacy through television. During the first television project, the major thrust was on literacy, but this second project was supposed to focus on social transformation. In view of this, the objective of the television lessons was decided to give knowledge and skills to the learners so as to equip them to help themselves to solve their problems and overcome undesirable circumstances. This was a jump ahead as the adult education program tried to cross the limited boundaries of rudimentary skills and take into the fold various aspects of learners life and thus various areas were identified for preparation of the lessons. There were nine areas identified as a basis for the curriculum development of new television project. They included water, health, economic problems, family, social life, political life, cultural life, housing facilities and education. Then each problem area specific issues or topics were identified and lessons were built on them. The lessons usually focused on two objectives simultaneously. First, developing a problem solving attitude and also imparting literacy. Thus, a new non-formal adult education text came into being. How the execution was done? The project was sanctioned for 60 TV lessons of 20 minutes duration each. The duration of the project was decided 
to be 7 months that is from October 1977 to April 1978. The periodicity decided was 2 TV lessons per week. Though literacy was an undercurrent of the project, the main focus was developing problem solving attitude among the learners by dealing with the problem areas in their various directions and dimensions and empower them for problem solving. The format adopted for the TV lessons was a dramatic presentation dealing with one problem or the other. The dramatic presentation was expected to help the learners to analyze and understand their problem and ultimately get motivated and equipped to overcome the same. The literacy component was not included in TV lesson. Hence, the blackboard disappeared together with the presenter. The literacy component was taken care of in regular classes on non-TV lesson days. In view of the broader nature of the project, it was entitled as Jnanadi. This was actually very appropriate name as Jnan means knowledge and Deep means a flame. The second step was script writing. It was decided to identify willing and able writers though not very renowned ones for the purpose of script writing. Six writers were identified and were given orientation with regard to the nature and objectives of the project. Responsibility of writing 10 scripts was entrusted to each of the six writers. The writers were allocated a topic and they were expected to complete the job within a week. There were a writers meeting held to discuss the topics allocated to them. Various aspects of the topic were examined and analyzed. After two or three days, second meeting was held when the writers came with the first draft of their script. Each writer read out his or her script to the group and then there was a discussion. The observations of the group members were put forth and the writer concerned noted the same modifying or revising his script. The writers met again after 2-3 days and submitted their final script. One must say that there was overwhelming response. The project Jnanadeep received a tremendous response as it was presented in the drama format. Though the project was mainly intended for the deprived and marginalized people, it got popular among the middle class people also. Another reason for the big response was that the persons identified to play different characters in the TV lessons were drawn from the lower middle and poor working class. Naturally, that audience identified itself with the characters in the TV lessons. The dramatic presentation in TV lesson appealed them as a reflection of their own life. Simultaneously, brainstorming was done at the national level. During this period itself, a national workshop was held to discuss on the topic whether the rich media like television and cinema, adult education program more effective and for reaching the said workshop was organized at Trivendram and veteran media persons like Mr. Menon, Homiwadia, B.K. Karanjia, Basu Bhattachari and Vijay Tendulkar participated in the same. The second workshop was organized at New Delhi by the Ministry of Information and Broadcast. This workshop also discussed as to how the television and cinema could be deployed for strengthening and enhancing the implementation of adult education program so that 
the common people accept it as their own program the next comes the program of gnanadeep on bombay television was going on quite smoothly as per the schedule starting from october 2nd 1977 the experience of the first tv project made implementation of the second project bit easier the team of script writers was strong enough to deal with the timely delivery of the scripts the discussion meetings held at regular intervals helped a lot to keep the job of script writing on the right track all the nine problem areas mentioned were covered within 60 tv programs as the project was supposed to conclude after the 60 television lessons one interesting thing to be noted was that the completion date of the project was approaching on the one hand while the program was getting more and more popular on the other hand then the bombay television made an announcement of the completion of the project within a month the result was that the letters and phone calls started pouring on the bombay television urging not to stop the gnanadeep program ultimately the bombay television decided to accept the gnanadeep as their fixed point program then the program was continued for the years on the bombay television as their regular program in this whole process various gnanadeep mandals which we can call gnanadeep clubs were established looking at the tremendous popularity of the program the producer came forward with the idea of encouraging formation of gnanadeep mandals by the audience in different parts of the state an announcement was made to this effect and again the same was received very enthusiastically by the audiences the people took initiative for forming gnanadeep mandals and within a short time there were hundreds of mandals that were as if an extended part of gnanadeep program the mandals conducted various social activities in their areas and all the way remained connected with gnanadeep thus gnanadeep was multiplied in the numerable direction to conclude i would like to say that the unique experiment of literacy through television undertaken as early as in 1974 in this endeavor it has taken an account of a number of factors involved in shaping and implementing the project the module has also studied the efforts of various bodies like bombay television bombay city social education committee and st javier's institute of communication arts for coming together to make this team work initiative a success the module has looked into the difficulties faced in implementing the project so that the same could be avoided or overcome during the future television projects the module has further underlined that even though the television is in a highly powerful medium of communication it should not be used for just teaching literacy because using television screen as a blackboard is the misuse or underuse of the same medium should be used for a broader perspective last but not the least is that the module has depicted how this first encounter of literacy with television created a national level brainstorming and triggered a second television project in the form of gnanadeep which became a springboard for the new non formal education program thank you